Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, me and myself, me, Mitch is here, that's what I meant to say. We're in the unit, like I'm gonna turn these lights off because it's already doing it to the camera, bear with me. There we go. So we're in a unit at the moment, we've spent, well Mitch has spent a day on it, two days. I've been doing some bits with the board change from the last video which is upstairs. Dado all the way around, we've got some heaters in, everywhere, awesome, fuse board. The lights you just saw when someone had this unit before, put some floodlights up for each side, hence the camera doesn't like it. But what we're doing today is going up that tower to put this tray on the floor. It's something that I have never done before. Mitch has bought some fixings, which are, go on mate. Hollow wall anchors. Just okay. The fact that we've got plasterboard ceiling. And then that's the thing. Setting you tool. drill the hole, you put it in, you pull it, it expands it. Adam's mom's got something like that actually. Anyway, uh, so this is all gonna be hung from the ceiling with anchors and then we're gonna be putting these lights. We've got 15 of these wicked lights to go up, which is exactly the same thickness as the tray. We're gonna try and do as much as this today as possible. But my first job, we'll get straight into it. I've got to cut some of these. Uh, I didn't realize normally, if they, I was given this, I would have cut the tray underneath here and here to allow this to slide in. Mitch said that's not correct. This lips under here and what I have to do is cut that, that, take this edge off here and that slots in and it all bolts together so it still keeps the strength, isn't that yeah, right Mitch? Try it if you want, but no, no, this I'll, I'll prefer to just... keeps the strength. Yeah. So um, yeah, let's get some glasses on and let's get cutting. I use the Bosch one, not the Dewalt one though. I should really have mentioned that it's all lay on the floor now. Mitch has found the correct measurements. We've got his laser there and then we're going to use my laser, which is over there, which has got the plumb on it so we can go around, figure out exactly where we need to go on the ceiling because to be honest with you, if I was given this job, I probably would have tried to have just lasered it and then hung a piece of tray at a time. Domestic spark. I know nothing. That first piece chopped. I've just done a bit of filing. Um, I'm not putting any gal spray on because it's inside. Is that right? Well, we haven't got any anyway, so there we go. So this. Have you just got to bend that out for it to slot in? Yeah. Like that, that's tucked under, that's done. You can get that bolt together. Also, for the purpose of this video as well, Ansel, big uh, sponsor of the channel you've known for this year and last year. What I'm doing today to show you guys the benefit of wearing the gloves, these are High Flex uh, 11840, which are here. I'm not gonna wear one on this hand. The whole day, won't wash this hand, obviously won't take this glove off. And we'll see at the end of this video, the difference of this hand to that hand. Obviously it's pretty obvious that this hand's gonna be dirtier compared to the other one. So it's good to show you a demonstration of actually working. Oh, it's not a very straight line, is it? Yeah, raise it up a bit. You raise me up. I can't remember the rest of the song. Uh, spicy. Well, it does get a bit hot, doesn't it? It, it? it is straight, it just doesn't look straight because of the dodgy Sharpie mark by someone. So do you want me to cut that? Yeah, I just need to make sure that distance is still the same. Okay. Uh, I am one, one, three and a half. Yeah, so I'm just slicing this tray down underneath for this to slot in, yeah? Yeah. So cutting it here. Right, we're up top of tower, as Mitch calls it. Oh, that was good. I caught that on camera as well. Thanks. You're welcome. Wood? Wood. Right, so a lot of this is on stud work, which is nice. Hopefully, we can find one that's not in a second to show you guys. Hopefully not. I mean, ideally, being in the wood is going to be stronger. But the plan is, laser going across. Uh, he's already got all of these ones in, which is sick. Obviously, we need to change heights and all that jazz. I've just realised that these wall lights, you've seen what someone's adapted them as. Yeah, put a little G Nutella. Jesus. Not only have we got to do this, we've got to rip out these as well. Are we, we're definitely ripping them out. Um, should we just disconnect them? Oh, I think. 
Let me disconnect it, but even that, it's on a separate switch. If we were just to wire this off the new Dado, I mean, what brand are they? I don't know. Diamond. I'll drive through Mitch, don't worry. Did it tie that. Hey. That's, yeah. that's fine. Just allow it. Yeah. I can't go on there. Okay, so we've got our dual hangers, the splitter. Oops, and then you've got a straight landed on the DeWalt drill. Um, and this comes up, so we're just going to loop this up. Mitch, can you demonstrate, mate? Because I've do? got one hand here, sir. So loop this up, back through. My God, have you done this before? Yeah. But it pinches one way, doesn't it? So it will only allow you to pull one way, yeah. unless you pull that little trigger. And we can hook that onto there. And what Mitch is doing, just for the time being, is the end of that is going to go level. Oh, you do it level with that, are you? Yeah. Sound. And that's done. That won't pull any more. There's little buttons on here to release it, to move it. But when we hire it, hire it up later, it's literally just pull this down. We just level it as we go then, and then we just snip it off. Bit of a tie wrap like here. Yeah. Just so Neating if it does need to come down and be adjusted, We've you got can. The space. I've seen it before where people have just gone, oh yeah, I'll just snip it off there. And then you're knackered. And then you're knackered because you can't do nothing with it. So leave a little bit on it, little tie wrap on the end, little tie wrap at the top. Just Nip them together. So thoughtful. Me. Everyone drop a like for Mitch. Such a thoughtful man. Right, we're nearly there. We've set up my laser now because my Bosch one has the plumb line. So we're using Mitch's one going across the far side for these hangers. We then measured the centre for the plumb line for where our first hanger is going to go on this corner. We just did the same thing here, which is going up to that bit, the red dot. And then we're not using the room as a square, are we, Mitch? Because no. the room is not square in the slightest. It's a 40 years old building, it is square. True. So that's coming across here to the center point here. We can then move this across once we've got our anchor points in, find the plumb of this corner, find the plumb of this corner, and then we're doing this tray. We might we have to do this at a separate time to measure across, aren't we? Relaser. Okay. We'll relaser that. My concern is your drill's going to hit me in the head. What? It's literally teetering on the edge Where? of your little hamster hatch. It's fell over now. Ash, whatever you do, mate, don't kick the tray, okay? So I made that mistake earlier and got told off for it. Angry hamster. <laughs> so sorry. Three, two, one. It's a happy hamster. I don't edit anything out of my videos. I'm not artisan. Why don't they make the hatches for big people? Oh, you didn't put the hook and rope on for that one. God. What, half a job? Oh, yeah. You are a hamster. <laughs> Can you chuck us another one of these bags up, Ash, the, with a cable in it? Uh, just behind you, them back bags of steel wire. Thank you, mate. Thanks, dude. What? Aya. Aya. Did you help Aya? Ow! You play with feathers, you get your ass tickled. Isn't that right, Mitch? Okay, right. We've got Ash with us as well, so if you're just the young, young lad, not this one, not the hamster guy, the other one. Um, so guinea, we, hamster or guinea pig? Mm. We've got guinea pigs at home, so yeah, a big guinea, pig. guinea pig. Are you okay there, bro? Yeah. Uh, what we're going to do, we've got as many, I say we, Mitch pretty much did it all, I was just talking, passed him stuff. Uh, as many continuity wires as we've got as possible, hooks in the ceiling, we've got great fixings, which I was concerned about driving on the way here for, if it's just plasterboard, the amount of weight on it, but the fact that I've hung off two of them and I'm a heavy lump, so it's fine. We're gonna get this first piece of tray up, bolt these ones together, remove this, remove this, and so just have two 90s and the flat one. Mitch did have a comment last night, he put a video of this all on the floor on Instagram. Um, a few people not quite understanding why it was on the floor. Before someone said, why is it set out like that? It was just set out like this, to us to mirror upwards, which makes perfect sense, which is something that I would not have done if I was in this by myself. I don't quite know how I would have figured it out, but we'd have get there. Um, someone says, why are we buying 90s? Why aren't we making them? If you ever saw me try and make a 90, uh, you would understand why we are buying them. It's quicker, it's faster, it costs a little bit more money, but the time saved from us actually making the 90s correct the first time is a time saver. Say hi, Ash. So um, we're just gonna get bolted up and we'll sit the camera on the side and we'll all lift it up together. Alrighty then. Right, Ron. Uh, let me spin these around. They are big steps, aren't they? Yeah. And they are heavy, manage yourself. 
glad you did it. Mitch wouldn't be able to pick them up. Oh, look how good that is. Did it go through the round ones, yeah? The what? The round ones. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, this is sexual. I've never said that about any thing, electrical thing ever in my entire YouTube career. But this is sexual. Let me grab you guys, hang on. Pack's gone, it's fine, it's DeWalt. Very cool. So these literally hook over on there, across. You okay? Hello. Very cool, I like it. Right, let's get another one. Mitch is uh, set, we're gonna bring it up another 50. It's 2.5 meters off the floor. We're gonna bring it to three meters. So it's as simple as, if you look at Ash, if you look at Mitch's like Ash, it's pull this and it will just raise it up to, what did you say, one, one meter 50? 105 to the bottom of that basket, I reckon. You can have a look here. We are cooking. Sorry about the noise in the background. Look how cool this looks. So that's up, leveled. Annoyingly, we leveled all the cables out when we put them in. And then we to bring them up another 150. And it is a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. Um, how much footage I'm getting. I'm going to put the camera up on the train a little bit, but we're going to do round the corner first and then back round, but we still need to go and get the laser out and put the fixings in and then bring it back. So, um, so far so good, but uh, yeah, never ever done anything like this and it is sick. Pain in the ass, but it's sick. Hi Mitch. No, that's rude. My mum's going to watch this, don't swear. Can you not get it in? Yeah. Everyone's going to feel seasick, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's okay. You used to it, are you? Hey. 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 I'm not going to tell Michaela, but I'm going to say, hey. It's a problem, guys. When you work with people from, from, from Warsaw or Dudley, they all speak weird. Mitch will not be getting a pinned uh, comment to his channel now. Yes, I will. Nick won't be getting hey. <laughs> is that funny, is it, boys? You always use that on me, man, so I'm glad someone else will change. Four bolts, four uh, uh, nuts, please, mate. Um, I have a speech impediment, I'll have you know. It's called having fat cheeks. I keep calling them a guinea pig. And my parents are, well, one's dead, so thanks for bringing that up, mate. Sorry about that, everyone. But I didn't really want to talk about it, but now you've made me talk about it, so thanks for that, mate. I know, we're still talking about it. Oh, I feel like cut all this out. <laughs> Phil. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Harry is also here. Say hi, Harry. It's happening. It's happening, right. Lights going up. Major center for that one. Mitch is just carrying over there. So I've got four bolts in. I am going to run in a minute to Mitch's van because he's got some clamps. For the center, for cable entry, we've got push and coupler. This is my conduit insulation set from Armeg. So we're going to nick a 20 mil out of there. And you have got the, the brocket set, which we could give it a go, because I've actually not used it before, which is that. Combi drill, come jump up with me. Plan is here, we're going to use the centre of this hole to cut through the tray with one hand. Really unstable. Right, so we've got our hole cut, which is here. Bush in the top. So I can see what I'm doing. Pops in. Locking up on the bottom. I'm just doing it this way so I can get a bit more flush on top of the cable entry. That will then bite the light fitting up. We've got the brocket, we've got the ratchet. Put that on. Grips on the lock ring at the bottom. There we have it. I'm stick the cable up there. Pop that down and uh, now I've got to do this 15 times. Just shy of four o'clock. Oh, let me turn this off again. And the tray works looking sick. We're, I've got about 20 minutes left on it, but we have run into a few issues. So 
The light that I put up there was meant to be two, even though I did ask Mitch, I did. Ash, did I ask Mitch if there was one going in the middle? Yeah. But that's fine. Mitch, when you're watching this, when you sat at home with your coffee, and your missus next year, you look like Josh from My Pants Are Aliens. Um, so I think Ash drilled that hole in the middle there, so that's his fault. Uh, that hole up there, mate. Uh, so we brought them across, but the, we've, the, the problem we've had because of the length of the lights, we should have pushed the tray out more, but we couldn't because that was one full length of tray, is all the bolts that we've done at the end, so like here, we've had to, we, I've had to undo them, pre-drill them back through and incorporate them within the fitting. So you've got the T coming into the tray and the light fitting. They're all bolted through as well. And we've got the bushes and the uh, locker rings on there. So it looks really cool. We've lasered it all out. It's all in level. Um, there's another two to go on here, another two on the back. And then we've got to do, I think it's three across here, but we will have the same thing as when these bolts come through, I'll have to undo every single one, stick the light fitting up. We've got some grip. So I should have showed you this earlier, but we're trying to get as much done because I've got, got to go home soon because my daughter's got a swimming lesson. Is grip, so hold the light fitting up, and then we can pre drill it, and it makes things a lot, lot easier. Um, but it's just awkward because it is high up, we can't use the tower now because the tray's all in the way, and we're sharing two pairs of steps between three of us. So, lastly, before we wrap the video off, and sell gloves, high flex. We said at the beginning, I've not purposely got my hand dirty, I didn't wash my hand at lunchtime, I hit it with this hand. So, you can see the filth, the grime, the fingernails. This glove came off to eat, we had a delicious, what was it called? Korean a Korean burger. It was delicious. At lunchtime. And so the difference in hands, I do have bad skin. I've said this before since I was little. And uh, this one, squeaky clean. Obviously you could do with the wash because I've been sweaty in them, but that's the difference. So link down below for Ansel High Flex gloves. They do a massive range for the stuff, like the high voltage stuff, uh, the live testing stuff, and various other ones. So go check it out. There's going to be a separate video bringing the armored feed over to the board from the massive comms room, which I've never worked on before. Like it's a See, it's a dry rise with all the, the main feeds in. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye.